Buenos días. Buenos días. <laughs> and welcome back to another one of Sino Antonio's Escadales Sino and Not Stories. 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 Hey, grab a, a cerveza and have a siesta. Because this is going to be a two parter about, you know, Rosarito, Mexico. Yeah, that's right. It's special of Cinco de Mayo for this. Gallo! <laughs> For those who don't know, Cinco de Mayo. Wait, no. Rosarito was the shit. Early 2000s and under, the shit. The best place to go for a three day weekend, um, spring break. You know, it didn't take a lot of money. And the best part, 18 years old to drink. So, yes, it was a good spot to go and had a lot of fun. So, uh, it starts in California, because where I lived, and my, me and my brother Michael, uh, a couple of friends of mine, we're drinking, we're having a good time, and my brother Michael says, hey, it would be a good idea, we went to Rosarito, and we're like, yeah, what better way to end the night of drinking than driving a, a couple hours to a, another fucking country and drink some more, <laughs> yeah. So, we got in the yellow car. And it was me, my brother Michael, my homeboy Steve, my homeboy Gonzo, and for the life of me, can't remember that last guy, but he was there. And so, um, it, it was three in the back, two in the front. So we drive, we have a good time. I'm not sure what the fuck we did. I'm sure we ended up at Senior Frogs, because that's where everybody fucking ends up at, even when they go to Rosarito. And so, we're on our way back. And one thing you don't know about Rosarito, if you don't know about Rosarito, uh, the cops, uh, they're entrepreneurs there. They love to earn extra cash any way they can. And the usual way is they like to make up their own laws and rules. So there's a lot of invisible stop signs, invisible speeds, uh, visible, a lot of visible things that they see, but you can't. So... On the way back, uh, we're driving, we're driving. Next thing you know, whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Or this case, the federalities. So we're getting pulled over, and my homeboy Steve has weed on him and a weed pipe. And this is like, this is early 90s, or this is like 90s, early 2000s. So this is it, like, this is like pipes haven't really been like, crazy like you know you had a weed pipe you're like oh shoot this guy has a weed pipe it could have been one of those little ricky dick metal ones and you're considered a pothead Ooh. it was not, not like now but so he had a pipe and he had some dirt weed and the thing was he just had a kid just had a kid like a month and uh I don't know. I don't know what came over me, whatever, but I was like, yo, uh, Steve, you just had a kid. Thought the cops were behind us. Give me the fucking pipe. Give me the weed. And, and, you know, and I'll take the fucking rap. So, yeah, uh, Steve, you know, being the brave guy he was, he was like, here you go. And he sat down. So, we're right there, and the cops come, and the cops are like, do you know why we pulled you over? And my brother Michael's like, no, sir, we don't. He's like, you, you, uh, you're on a stop sign. And my brother's like, where? He's like, don't worry about it. You did. We know it. We, we know where it's at. It's down there, and you ran in, and that's why you're pulled over. He's all right. Have you guys been drinking or partying or doing any drugs? The federal says, oh, my brother and everybody, of course we're going to lie. No, sir, we haven't. He goes, oh, really? And he had a magazine with him, which I thought was very strange. Uh, how different our cultures are, you know, because in America we have breathalyzers. But I guess in Mexico they have magazines. And what they do is they, they fold the magazine and they put it to your face. And then they, they put their face on one end and then they tell you to blow on the other end. And my brother blows. And that guy comes like, <laughs> like he smells a fart, but he's like... <laughs> And like, dang, looks at my brother like, all right, all right, get the fuck out of the car. And, my, and they take my brother out of the car. 
that's the driver. I'm in the passenger side, by the way. And so they take him out of the car, and uh, the, all of a sudden they go to the, the back seat, they go to my friend Gonzo, and they're like, hey, breathe into the magazine. Uh, they go to the other guy in the window, breathe And every time after the magazine blowing, they take him out of the fucking car, you know? And there's only the middle guy and me left in the car, and they're, they're about to go to the guy in the middle, and it was for the life of me, I can't remember who these two, other two guys were, but they're like, um, oh, one bird console, so only one guy, so, but they're like, um, the guy in the middle, he's about to pull him out, and I go, hey, oh, do you want me to get out of the car, or, or what, you know, you probably got everybody else out of the car, like, you shut the fuck up, and you sit there, and you do what you're told, I'm like, fine. Meanwhile, I got the pipe and the dirt weed under my fucking right butt cheek. And I'm just right there sweating shit. And uh, before they pull the middle guy out, they're like, look it. Uh, we already called us in, and they're already sending us to dogs. So if you guys have any drugs or alcohol or anything illegal, tell us now. Otherwise, whoever gets caught is spending the weekend in jail. And we're like, oh, no, no drugs, no, no legal substances here, sir. So like that, and um, so they pull the, finally they pull the last guy out of the car. And they're searching, they're searching, and I'm just right there sitting down. And all of a sudden my door opens, and I was waiting for the fucking federality to say, you, get the fuck out. And as I was saying, you, get the fuck out, he just started searching around me. He picked up my feet, had the flashlight flashing everywhere. I can't find anything. So he gets so, they get so frustrated because they can't find anything. They finally just let us go. And we, we, we let go. Everybody in the car got pulled out except me. Do you understand that? Everybody. And I was the only one holding drugs. That's insane. Second chances. Now, two-parter. I promised you another story. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single Anyways, so the second part, uh, this time is me and my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good group of guys. Same guys, actually, like out in the bar fight. <laughs> Except my cousin Mario, he wasn't there. But anyway, so we're there, and uh, my, co my homie Mark, Mark, ah, uh, GG. Oh, God. Uh, he, he, poor guy. He, he was just, you know, he, he looked like a thug. He looked like a thug. He, his family was so thuggish that he, when he was born, he just automatically looked like a cholo. And at this time, he actually was a cholo. So we're having a good time. We're drinking, we're drinking. Next thing you know, he finds another drunk guy, and they just start getting into it. And they're, they have a group. We have a group. And next thing you know, it almost turns to a fucking bra. What happens? Federale comes. We see the federales because people, dude, people are warning. Hey, federales, federales, federales. Because, we, dude, you don't fuck with federales unless you got some money. So we stop. We stop right away. Uh, the, the calmer heads of each group go together. Hey, man, blah, blah, blah. We're sorry. Uh, yeah, our friend's drunk. Our friend's drunk, too. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. But each group wanted to fight. But, hey, cooler heads prevailed. Uh, so not even 20 minutes later, we are like, do you know what? Yeah, we're, we're already done. You know, we know someone's in a fight. We're drunk. It's getting really late. So we decided just to head back home to California. Because, you know, why wouldn't you after a whole night of fucking drinking? <laughs> drive a couple of hours. You know. Anyways, so we're heading back. And as we're heading back, there you go. We're running another invisible stop sign. And we get pulled over. And as we get pulled over, the cops come and ah, blah, blah, blah. This time they give a shit because they know we're drunk. They smell the alcohol in the car. My friend reeks of booze. The driver reeks of booze. Everybody just reeks of booze. So they're threatening us. And then they're like, empty your pockets. Empty your pockets. Empty your... They made everybody empty their fucking pockets. And they had all our money in a pile. And they're like, you know what? You guys are lucky today because, you know, we're just going to take this and act like this never happened. And, oh, I never forgot to mention, uh, Rosarito, there's a toll booth to, to get out of Rosarito or into Rosarito. You have to pay a toll. Uh, they took all our money. Literally all our cash. We had no coins, no dollars, no nothing. So we told the, the federalities, we're like, hey, man, well, how are we supposed to get out of here? We have no money. You just took all our money. He goes, well, that sounds like a personal problem, doesn't it, son? And they take the money and they leave. 
So we're right there, we're like, fuck, what are we gonna do? And then uh, everybody's trying to like, you know, they, yeah, back in the days, my homies, you know, I, I, it was like me and another guy that had jobs. Everybody else didn't. So we're trying to get our thoughts together, like, well, man, maybe we can get an ATM. I'm like, fuck, I'm broke. Oh, man, well, I might have some money in the bank, blah, blah, blah. And so as this is going on, all of a sudden, uh, a fucking SUV rolls up, and guess who it is? The guys we almost fucking brawled, and they all fucking get out of the car, and uh, one of the guy goes, "Hey man," and we just looked at each other like, "Fuck, dude, this is the last thing we fucking need." So we're all just, you know, start getting pumped up, like, "Okay, fuck it, dude, this is this, this is going down, this is going down." The guys come out, "Hey man, we just saw what fucking happened, man. We we're over there just waiting, man. We saw what happened with the data. You, you guys, cool, we're like, man." Well, like, oh, okay, it's weird, but yeah, man, no, they fucking took all our money, man. We have no money for gas. We have no money for fucking the, the toll. The, like the guy's like, hold up, hold up, I'll be back. He goes back to like his homies next to the SUV. They all start talking. Next thing you know, you just see a bunch of hand gestures and things going down. The guy comes back and goes, hey, you know, it's not much, man, but here, here's some gas money, and some money to cross the toll booth, man. Shit happens, man. And we're like, hey, man, fuck, dude, thank you so much. He goes, hey, man, fucking Rosarito. And we're like, fucking Rosarito. So, yeah, the guy fucking, they took, you know, they gave us money. They fucking enough to get, get us some gas and enough to cross the toll booth, and we made it home, safe and sound. And it's just fucking... You know what I mean? Like uh, earlier, we were about to box these guys. It was about to be a horrible brawl. Next thing you know, they're fucking savers. It just goes to show you, man. Fucking Rosarito, single to my baby. Ciao.